determine what makes it. All right, now, uh, excuse me. Let's, excuse me, that's disgusting. Let's talk rules. The rules of the Christmas Marathon, all right? Here's the deal. For the Christmas Marathon, all right? Number one, all games are eligible as long as they are readily available to be played on a modern console digitally. So, as long as I can get a game on the Nintendo Switch, the PlayStation 5, the Xbox Series X, then it is eligible. Alright? I'm not going to be playing games that I have to order online a disc and try to figure out how to get it to run possibly or anything like that. Okay? Um, it has to be on a modern console. Okay? I, just ha I have to lay down the law here because a lot of the times people always request things that are just not viable. Okay? Um, so that's number one. Okay? Number two. The game has to be something that would be entertaining to be played for about an hour to an hour and a half. Because when I do these holiday marathons, or gaming marathons in general, that's about how long I play each game. Why pick a game that has a three-hour intro that I won't even get halfway into? Why nominate that game? It doesn't even make sense, right? You gotta pick a game that's gonna have fun stuff right at the beginning for part of the marathon, okay? Now, I'm okay with you picking games that are lengthy games, if it's something that you think might be something that I would be interested in playing a full playthrough of, but I'm going to limit it right here. JRPGs are not eligible. And the reason being, right now I'm playing Pokemon Scarlet, I'm going to be playing it for the month, and I likely will either just have finished it before Christmas, or I'll still be going. I'll probably be in the end game, or maybe, you know, trying to finish the Pokedex by then, but I'm already going to be playing this game and it doesn't make sense to play another JRPG. Oh, by the way, next month in January, there's another JRPG coming out that I'm interested in. It's that new One Piece game. I think it's called One Piece Odyssey, and that's a JRPG. So, just getting through a JRPG now, and about to start another JRPG in January, we can't wedge another one between. So there's no point in even starting one up, alright? So JRPGs would not be eligible. But you noticed I said JRPGs. You might say, well, why is he just uh, singling that out? Well, I'll give you an example why. Because last year, you guys nominated Skyrim, all right? Now, on a whim, I said, let's do it. Let's play Skyrim on the Xbox Series X. We played it for about an hour and a half during the Christmas Marathon. And you guys liked it so much, you demanded that I drop everything and I do it as a full playthrough starting in January, and I did. And it ended up being an epic Five to six month long playthrough, including all the DLCs and all the content of the game. And you guys absolutely loved it. You showed up in droves and you supported it and you loved that playthrough for the first half of the year. So there's a perfect success story of how something that can be just kind of nominated on a whim for a holiday event ends up ending up being a giant successful playthrough. Okay? So, I don't want to be like, oh no, I refuse to do any Western RPG. And then... Someone might nominate Oblivion, or someone might nominate uh, Fallout 3, and then we end up playing it, and it ends up being really good. You know what I'm saying? So, that's that's definitely a consideration, just no JRPGs, alright? Now, another criteria. Please, oh, by the way, I have to unplug my, my battery. It's charged. Hold on a second. Here, I just know it. Unplug this battery here. Alright, please. Do not nominate games that I've already, in the past, eliminated that I told you guys I'm not interested in playing. So, for example, please don't nominate that stupid Code Vein game. You know, I don't care about it. No one cares about it anymore. It's years old now. It's fucking ancient history. Please don't nominate some cheap knockoff of a Dark Souls game. I don't want to play fucking... that fucking two or three different FromSoft game knockoffs that came out during the summer. I, I don't care about that. Don't do nominate Divinity or Divinity 2. You know what I mean? Don't nominate Catherine fucking one, Catherine full body, Catherine half body, Catherine fucking, who cares? You know, don't nominate, you know I don't want to play those games. Do not nominate Street Fighter V. I'm not playing Street Fighter V, all right? It's old news. We're looking for, for fun games, games that I can play for an hour to an hour and a half. Enjoy the game, but whether it's a silly game, a frustrating game, a, an actual Christmas-themed game, 
you know, whatever it may be. Please just nominate something that's going to be interesting, all right? I'm not out to sit here and play a bunch of shit games right before Christmas. It's a waste of my time, okay? Now, one other limitation. Sadly, I cannot play on PC. I've been telling you guys this for years. I have to reiterate again. My setup right now, capturing at 1080p, 60 frames per second, all right? A lot of the times, maxes out my CPU. I'm not kidding. Right now, just this full screen HD webcam for the podcast has my CPU at 46% use. So, I cannot do PC games. As much as I would like to, I'm not able to play them. Maybe in the future. Maybe I'll upgrade my setup and, you know, we'll be all right. Right now, that's not possible. Okay? So, thanks for the consideration, but I can't play anything on PC. All right? Now, as I said yesterday, we hit the member's goal. And we had said, yes, we're doing the Christmas of Marathon. And I'm, I'm ready. We're going to set it up. So, we're going to have those forum threads right now. We're Not forum threads. Uh, community threads. Where you can start nominating games. Okay? Or I would.